Hi everyone and welcome to Mac Tech Tutorials. Today we are going to go over like the system preferences, but we're going to be doing quick minute tutorials on every little bit of the system preferences. Okay, so we're going to start with the general. Now, to get system preferences, you can go there and click on system preferences. Okay, now the general tab is right here, and what this includes is the appearance. Now, what the appearance is, is what your drop downs and menus look like when you go to click on them. Now, blue is if you click here, you see this blue color. That's what blue is. And if you switch it to graphite, you can see that your menus are going to switch to the graphite color, but I like blue. Now, the highlight color is like, say, if you want to highlight text on some web page, that is the color that is going to be there when you highlight it so you can change your color to gold or orange or silver but I like pink and then if you choose other you can choose a different color um, show scroll bars automatically based on the input device when scrolling or always so then you can choose to show scroll bars because right, because let's just type in Google here now on the left here you can see that there's a big scroll bar okay and it shows it there when I'm scrolling but when I'm not scrolling, it doesn't it doesn't show it, so yeah. And then you can choose between those. If you want it to show always, then you can have it always show up. Um use smooth scrolling. That's kind of like the difference between choppy scrolling, this is smooth scrolling. And if you uncheck that, you can see that your scrolling is not going to be choppier. Um, sidebar icon size. Sidebar icon size refers to the icon. Uh, refers to the things here in your finder you can choose to have them nice and big or you can choose to have them smaller like small medium large it refers to the little folders and input devices in your finder window but I'm just going to choose medium now number of recent items what recent items are are well like the recently open items and you can choose to have your system remember 10 applications 10 documents and 10 servers and here's a big one even though it looks quite small restore windows when quitting and reopening apps this is Apple's new resume feature now I personally don't really like this, but there are some people that might like it. Um, that means like if I had a Google page open on like Safari, and then I quit Safari, and then I reopen Safari, then the Google page would be there. Um, some people may like this, but I like starting from a fresh start every time I do things but it might be helpful for people who are like working on iMovie project and they want to go back into the iMovie project um, use LCD mount smoothing you should just keep that on okay so I think we've gone over everything uh, thank you for watching and subscribe